E sad, u popodnjenom programu, generalno i u našem informativnom programu, nemamo takvo zadovoljstvo čast da razgovaramo sa svetskim vicešampionima. Vicešampionke su još ređe, one na svetskom nivou. A definitivno je jasno, mesec i po dana, pre kraja 2024. godine, da imamo sasvim sigurno najbolju sportinskinju grada za ovu godinu. To je Anastasija Rajković, Ona je članica MM kluba Fanatik, MMA kluba Fanatik iz Smedereva, državna reprezentativka koja je uspela da osvoji srebenu medalju na svetskom prvenstvu koje je u nedelju završeno u Taškem, to ne sa nama u studiju. Anastasija, dobro dan, dobro došli. Hvala, bolje vas našto. Čestitke na osvojene medalji pre svega. Hvala puno. Uz izražavanje moj časti, veliko zadovoljstvo što si ovde, jer sam pratio sve tvoje borbe, na svetskom prvenstvu, posebno polufinale i finale. Radovo se nakon pobede nad Ukrajinkom Šelembe, ali i poraza nad Brazilkom Dos Santos negdje u nedelju posle podne. 12 i nešto je bilo, kada smo videli da si poražena, ali si osvojila srebenu medalju. Još jedno velike čestitke i velike uspoje za tebe. Tu si u studiju od početaka, pre 3-4 godine si se prvi put pojavila kao velika nada, ali tako? Tako je. I evo, posle nekoliko godina već u sazveću šampiona. Taj put nije bio lak? Nije uopšte. Kažu tvoji treneri Nikola i Miljan, pa svega Nikola Vasiljević, da si ti prvi proizvod MMA kluba Fanatik iz Smedereva kada je u pitanju MMA ili MMA od početka, dakle, od početka si ovde stasavila, ne van smedreva, tako? Tako je, sa njima sam od početka, od kako su otvorili klub, bukvalno sam tu od prvog dana faktički i eto, nikada nisam presela, odustajala i eto, došli smo do tle gde jesmo. A to je sam svetski vrh. Tako je. Državna reprezentacija je bila brojna, samo vas troje ste osvojili medalju, tako? Tako je. Petar Markovski, zatim Dževad Baltić i ti. Da. Tvoje najsjenje, ali tako? Jeste. Srebena, oni su pronzeli. Da. Dakle, najuspešniji takmičar državne reprezentacije u Taškentu. Da. Nije bilo lako. Mi smo pratili sve to na Arena Fajtu. Moram da priznamo i da smo uživali u tome. Hvala vam. Kako izgledalo od početka? Pa, mislim... Čekali smo prvo da izađe raspored ko će s kime se boriti. Prvoj meč sam radila s devojkom iz Uzbekistana. Nju sam završila u drugoj rundi. Zatim sam radila sa devojkom iz reprezentacije Bugarske, gde sam nju izdominirala cijele tri runde. I u polufinalu sam se našla sa tada aktualnom šampionkom svetskom i evropskom iz Ukrajine, gde sam i nju pobedila jednoglasnom odlukom i potom eto do finale sa devojkom iz Brazila gde je da kažemo, gde su sudije odlučile ko je pobedio, iako po meni i po većini jednostavno mislimo da sudijska odluka nije bila baš korektna, ali šta da se radi? Pa i po našem mišljenju gledali smo taj meč ali sudijska se ne poriče. Oštećeni su, evo je Real Madrid oštećen za gol Barcelona, za Levandovskog i tako dalje, pa što ne bi i ti na početku. Ali sigurno sam da ćeš u budućnosti imati mogućnosti da ponoviš taj uspeh, a onda sudije neće moći. Jer kad je rival mnogo bolje, onda sudije ne mogu da je presuđuju. Da, da. Vidio da si spasila su Furija u onom meču protiv Usika, kad nisu sudili tehnički nokautom, na kraju ipak jedan je čak glasao za njega, ali kad je Usi bio mnogo bolje, onda ne može tako. I ti jesi bila bolja, ali to slobodno sudinsko uvjerenje je veliki problem u svim sportovima gde sudije daju završnu reč. Ono što je najvažnije, jesi da si ti savladala u polufinalu i to je najsvetliji moment aktuelnu evropsku i svjetsku šampionku Janu Šelembe iz Ukrajine. Znamo koliko su ukrajinski takmičari favorizovani zbog rata koji trpe u svojoj zemlji, tako da si se i ti možda pribojavala toga, tako? Pa jesam iskreno, pošto iskreno organizacija kao organizacija je jedina na svetu legitimna i jako je dobra organizacija, ali imaju jednostavno te momente gde uvode politiku i imaju favorite 
Iskreno, ja kad sam gledala prenos sa njihovog sajta mog meča poslednjeg u finalu, iskreno sam čula komentatore konstantno kako su, da kažem, eto, bodrili Brazil koji konstantno su nju favorizovali tokom borbe i komentarisali njen uspeh u trenutnu situaciju u borbi gde moji su onako jednostavno samo prolazili kroz to, nisu komentarisali, tako da se vidi, eto, opet malo to... Pristresnost. Tako je, da. Jeste, jeste, ja sam se bojao toga pred meč sa Janom Šelembe, Ukrenkom i aktualnom prvakinjom, tako da si ti tu bila dominantna. Doduše, jeste se ona treća runda pretvorila u vrvački vrvački meč, ili tako? Ona je pokušavala na svaki način da te speče, ali ti si bila bolje. Šta je to, koja je to tehnika? Ja zaista pokušavam na procenju šta je kod tebe najbolje. Ti imaš potpuno kompletne sve tehnike, tako? Pa tako je. Mislim, ja se trudim da budem kompletna. Ja sa treninima zaista radim na svemu i što se tiče stand-upa i tog partera, rvanja i svođenja protivnika na pod. Tako da zaista smatram da sam suda kompletna, iako ima još dosta da se radi na tome. Tako da se eto trudim da sve to bude u jednom sklopu. Jedan paket. Da. Pravi onaj MMA paket. I ono što je jako važno, evo, konu što ste se osjetili, da posle velikih uspeha i popularnosti ovog sporta, Megregora, Muhamedova, pa onda Nganua, koji je na kratko otišao iz MMA-a u boks i gotovo pobedio Fiorija u onom meču, pa onda Krokapa, pa Stipe Miočića, naših boraca, pa Gonisa i tako dalje, mnogi, mnogi drugi. Polako se razmata mogućnost da postane olimpijski sport. On će biti eksperimentalno prikazan i biti 2028. Tako je. A onda, nadamo se da će biti i priznat kao olimpijski sport. U svakom slučaju, olimpijski ili ne, veliki je to uspeh i velika vest osvanula je svuda u svetu. Sad će zapamtiti ovi komentatori sa televizija koji će, svetske televizije, pa neće biti nepoznanica u finalu. Tako je. Bićeš ti favorit u nekom narodnom finalu. Šta je sljedeće takmičenje veliko koje te očekuje? Pa sljedeće veliko takmičenje poput ovoga je Evropsko prvenstvo koje će se održati kod nas u Beogradu. Tako da eto, za to se spremamo. A umeđu vremenu će vratno biti još nekih regionalnih takmičenja, tako da ćemo i to ispratiti. Da, sad već moraš da budeš i regionalni borac, i evropski, Svetski si već postao. Dakle, prilike za revanš Ani Karolini dos Santos bit će tek negde, možda na nekom takmičenju, ako dođe. Tako, sledeće godine. Sledeće godine. A Jana Šalembe na Evropskom prvenstvu? Tako je. Ponovo taj duel. Ja sam sigurno da će biti veliki uspjeh. Svaka to čast Anastasija. Pronula si slavu Smedereva na ovom velikom prvenstvu. Inače, 600 takmičara i 60 zemalja je bilo, tako? Tako je. To je gotovo nevjerovatna cifra. Da. Tri medalje za Srbiju, dve bronzane, Petar Markovski i Džavad Adlić, a jedina srbana koja sija zlatnim sjajem za Smederevku, članicu MMA kluba Fanatik, Anastasiju Rajković, koja je siguran sam bit će definitivno sportijskinje godine. Veći uspeh nije niko postigao u Smederevu ove godine. Ja ti čestitam još jedno. Hvala puno. Obredovali se nas mnogo, pranula se slavu Srbije i Smedereva i uz, evo, sve ovo što ste videli u njen sportski identitet i pedigra, ona je jedna divna devojka, vaspitana, skromna. Hvala puno. Koja je pravi ponos i primer za ostale devojke nastavi tako da radiš da budeš primjer drugima da se još mnogi mladi borkinje moramo tako da kažemo borkinje jedne u boksu, u judu, u svuda smetra je poznato po tome mnogo boksirki koji su postizale manje ili veće uspehe u ovom sportu evo ti si predvodnik u MMA i mnogo karatiskinja, judiskinja dakle žene su jači polu smetra ja moram da priznam je li tako? jesu Znači, dovedite u red ove mladiće koji su postali, morate da ih postavite vi, devojke, i da im kažete, ej, alo, budite vi malo 
muškarci, jači pola, ne mi. Da, izgleda da ćemo morati. Morat ćete da ih postavite malo, jer su previše slabi postali, oni su samo za kompjuterima i telefonima, a ti se bavi sportom i to vrhunskim i osvojaš svetska odličja. Samo nastavi tako. Čekamo dobro. Vi ste, kad je Evropsko prvenstvo? Nadam se u februaru. U februaru. E, čekam, u Beogradu. Da. Do tada, pre nego što pođeš ovde u studiju, da te ispratimo, pa onda čekamo dobre vesti. Laži? U redu, dogovore. Anastasija Rajković, pogledajte kako je to skromno stvorenje, a ona je vice šampionka sveta u MMA. MMA, to je ono, full contact, borba. I pogledajte sad ove borbe, pustit ćemo i u nastavku, borbu sa Janom Šalembe i Karolinom Dos Santos iz Brazila. Tako, ova skromna delika, kako se bori i kako je fantastična, kako je srčana i koliko ima sportskog duha. Anastasija Rajković je vice šampionka sveta u MMA-u koju medalju je osvojila na svetskom prvenstvu u Taškentu u konkurenciji šestotina takmičara iz šestdeset svetskih zemalja. Fight clean, touch gloves. Good luck. Junior women's flyweight final, 56.7 kilograms, 125 pounds. Anastasia Aracevic from Team Serbia in the blue corner. Her opponent from Team Brazil, Anna Carolina Brito de Santos in the red. Aracevic, a bit, bit taller, using that reach, those limbs. Carolina just pushing her back. Goes for the double right above us in the commentary booth. Rashkovic drives her up here. Oh, lovely Uchimata counter. Got to be careful about giving the back and indeed the crucifix here. Oh, she's got the arm trapped. Tried to pull her down. She's got to get that right arm round, around her back. Yes, that's it. Good squeeze. Two highly skilled grapplers here. Come on, guys, make me proud of jiu-jitsu, please. <laughs> Outside pressure here from Britta de Santos. Working the body lock. Got to get the hips in. Looking for the inside and outside trip. Oh! Counter. But she gets up from it. And pushes Anastasia against the cage. Using those knees, a bit of attrition. Dropping down, trying to get the double. Popping back up, she gets spun. The back against the cage again. Back and forth, back and forth. Just jostling for position. Oh, lovely. Step over. She's got the arm, she's gone into guard. She's looking for the back there, and she does have two rear naked choke submission victories in the quarterfinals and the semifinals, does Brita de Santos. Missed the back though, got the overhook in this bottom position, so could hunt for the triangle. Oh, the arm bar is there. Can't get the leg over. She's so gone for the armbar, gone for the sweep again. But lost it. Last eight seconds. Anastasia looks like she's tired of defending these submission attempts. First round in the books, a minute rest for the athletes. Hands go up for Britta de Santos. Submission specialist, having a little bit of trouble though 
navigating around Rakovic on the floor. Yeah, Rakovic is a much uh, bigger girl, you know, so she's having problems dealing with that, dealing with the, the little bit more extra mass. But I think she's kind of found a groove now. The second round is going to be very telling. Big jab, big jab to start off with. From Anastasia. From British Santos is looking for those same positions again. Happy to play off the back. Oh, double jab straight right, straight down the middle, chopping at that leg. That's it, just jab, one, two, low kick. Keeping her back against the fence. Oh, Anastasia eats another jab. Eats a low kick, goes for the shot, cuts the angle, goes for the takedown. There's a head trap just a little bit. Brita de Santos has got the, oh, that, that arm is tight around the neck. Just one little adjustment might be able to get her where she wants needs to be. Brita de Santos was a breakout star in the 2024 Pan American Championships. She took gold in that entanglement, submitting her opponent in the flyweight division via rear naked choke. So looking to add to that tally here with the guillotine. Got the arm in though, so a little bit more difficult to finish. That was tight. That was tight, that's very, very, very tight. Anastasia now, I think she's just smothering Brita de Santos, laying in the guard. She's not doing nothing much. She's got a takedown only. That's all she's got, but Brita de Santos had that guillotine, peppered her up a little bit in the stand-up. Way more uh, effective in a stand-up. Anastasia's not doing anything, she's lying. She's lame. She's not even praying. <laughs> Going to get some work here with the ground and pound. But the, the problem, of course, is De Santos has an excellent submission game. I think that's why you're seeing Ratchevic just hold low on the body. Oh, she's done a good job of holding on to the body lock, though. But De Santos back to the feet, looking to turn in. Ratchevic fully aware of the submission game here of Brita De Santos. More methodical in her approach. Even with the takedown, she's kind of waiting. Oh, she gets dumped on her face. Springs back to the feet, though. Anastasia Rashevich from Team Serbia on the outside position. Head underneath the chin. Last 10 seconds. With round two in the books, Raskovic controlling in the top side position, exposes the back briefly, unable to find the uh, motivation or the confidence to fire the ground and pound for fear of the uh, submission attacks off the back from Brita de Santos. Yeah, but she got, you know, um, you can see she's struggling just a little bit with the style of Brita de Santos. Didn't like, uh, don't want to expose herself too much, as you said, for the submissions. Had success with the jab though, does Brita de Santos. Raskovic going to the body. There's a level change from Team Serbia. Yeah, that's the. Boop, gets a leg, swings it back. Single takes her down. Really, really nice. And yeah, she just dumps her on her head again. But she pops straight back up. Sonia, 
Get set for round two here. Three minutes on the clock. Junior women's flyweight final. Team Serbia and Team Brazil. Excuse me, round three of the fight. Time flies when you're having fun. Jude's happy about that. <laughs> It's a nice little one two. Brita de Santos should do what she she did at the beginning of the second. You know, because she's got Anastasia backed up, but don't overcommit. Just long legs, you know she's gonna come down. She to use a lead or rear uppercut. Just keep her head up. Look, she's dipping her head to the right. There you go. Boom. Straight down the middle again. Boom. Oh, she's just leaking liquid from her face from that those punches. Brilliant Santos found the range here, back up against the cage of Rechevich, looking for a way out. Absolutely, she should stay low. There you go, body shots, and that will stop her from trying to shoot. Let's keep her backed up. Keep her backed up. Every time you see her head just dip to the right, you know she is coming. Ooh, that one's right on the nose. Oh, nice. Just keep it there. Keep it there. Don't step in. That's it. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, ah. level change. Heavy as, as soon as the head dipped to the right, you know who's coming. <laughs> Looking for the control here now. Got yeah. to command the underhook, though. She's giving the left underhook away to Rashkovich. She's got to try and pummel that arm in. You can see that she's trying to separate. She can skip over to Mount here as well to negotiate past that unhook. This is the time for the ground and pound. A minute left here in round three. Yeah, this is a bad, bad, bad position for Rakovic. Oh, she might be going for the armbar. She's testing it. <laughs> Serbian corner calling out the last minute. Fanastasia, they wanted to try and get a burst of energy here for the sweep. She might be looking to trap the arm and the leg. An ooper and sweep to the top position in the guard. Going to be difficult, though, against Brita de Santos. Yeah, I think Brita de Santos should go for the armbar, though. I think she should head position, get the arm across her face, get some space up, because Anastasia is going to try to bridge and just wait for her to bridge, get that S-mount armbar in, drag her back uh, out to the outside, get her feet away from the cage, or just ground and pound. Something just to finish the arm. There you She's go. She's got it. Hyperextension's going. Anna Carolina, Britta de Santos looking for the submission victory. Eight seconds remains. Raskovic holding on. This is the hyperextension at its best. Thumb goes up though. Fanastasia. Yeah, because she's got the leg over. Well, threat of the armbar then towards the end of round three. Team Brazil putting it on Team Serbia. This one going to go to the judges' scorecards, however. Yeah, I've got... Because I'm just writing some stuff down. I, I've got uh, Bridget de Santos.